Hi everyone! Welcome to the Sun City Stitchers channel. I'm Carlene and I'm Marlene and this is Floss Tube episode number 34. We are a week before Christmas. It is Monday, December the 19th. Um, we, those of you who follow us know that we normally do ours on Friday, mm -hmm. um, but it was just a really busy week. Yes. And then we had a um, cookie exchange, exchange yeah. on Saturday and we had not gotten to bake. We were gonna bake last weekend and Marlene was sick. Mm -hmm. um, so we baked on Friday when I got done with school and Marlene finished her tutoring, we baked mm -hmm. and um, and then we we just, Sunday I just needed recoup time and so we decided, you know what, we're gonna do our floss tube um, today and then we'll do a real short one on Friday yeah. just to wish you all a Merry Christmas mm -hmm. and show you um, some things that we have planned for Christmas, um, even Christmas Day and, and just talk a little bit about our stitchy plans. And um, so we're gonna do mm -hmm. a progress um, this week and a little tutorial and um so yes we're ready yes um we're gonna start we i made a little cookie tray and brought up to marlene's we baked at my house mm -hmm. and then i brought a little cookie tray so we're gonna show you what i what we baked um the only thing we don't have on here marlene is um the one you made for the cookie exchange and i was oh. actually going to make pencil. those. So I'm going to just tilt it a little. Okay. And Molly, so, if you want to just yes. point. So these big round ones are um, sugar cookies. They're sour cream sugar cookies. This was our mom's recipe. And um, so that's those. And then the little bars over here are um, Hello Dolly bars. Also known as seven layer bars. Yeah, or sprinkle bars. Sprinkle bars. Sprinkle bars. And then these are sugar cookies, shaped sugar cookies. These They're spritz. Are, oh, these are spritz. Sorry, I can't spritz see. Spritz cookies. Up. These are spritz cookies. Yes, my little blobby spritz cookies that don't turn out very nice. And then right here we have ginger creams. Let's see if I can. So that's those. And then. They're a little here. frosted cookie. Yes. And then over here we have a special K bar. That's made with a cereal, cereal and, peanut, and butter. peanut butter. And then we have Reese mini muffins, which are made with a little Reese, mini Reese's peanut butter cup in the center. And then we have the sugar cookies, the shape sugar cookies, which are the cream cheese. Cream recipe. cheese sugar cookies. And mm -hmm. these we frost just yeah, a little bit and put some just, sprinkles just, on them. Right. And then these were the cookies that Carlene made for the cookie exchange. These were um, the soft white cookies. A soft white cookie. You mm -hmm. roll it in a ball and then just press it down with a oh, pecan or yeah. pecan half. Mm -hmm. So those were our those are our bakings. Cookies. And then Marlene did a really cute little one for the cookie exchange. Yes, it and it was a tiny twist pretzel. Easy turtles. Easy turtles mm -hmm. with a little Rolo on the top. And you put it in the oven for just like three minutes, three right? Three to five minutes. Uh -huh. And um, then when you take it out of the oven, and you press a uh, pecan down into mm -hmm. the center so the caramel and the chocolate get squished down and then the pecan is on the top. They're mm -hmm. really good. They're really simple. So we have stuff left and we're going to make some for us to have to enjoy um, over the holidays, but yeah. we haven't done that yet. No. Um, They're so easy, so it doesn't take long. That doing baking we did on Saturday, on Friday, Friday and Saturday, and then we finished, finished it up, it up on Saturday. On Saturday. Uh -huh. And um, so that was our our baking adventures. Yes. And then we it went very well. Sometimes it doesn't, but yes, it did, it did go, go good. good. Except for my spritz cookies that always just look like blobs. I need to get a new um, spritz cookie yeah. maker. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that was our our um baking and then um as we promised last week we would show you how to do a tutorial and or show you how to do a, an ornament so we did it to our tutorial and so i'm going to show you now the steps that i used to make uh captain timothy mm -hmm. into so an cute. ornament he turned out really cute all right, so we're having to improvise a little bit since we're doing the floss tube at Marlene's again this week. Um, but I did bring the stuff so that we can show you how to do the ornament. So as we promised last week, 
This is my stitched piece. Um, Timothy, Captain Timothy, the little elf. Who Candy cane guys, elf. Was Candy it? cane elf, who you mm -hmm. heard me moan and groan about, but he's finished finally. He's so cute so, though. And you know, I pressed, but I obviously do not know how to press correctly. So I used a pressing cloth. I put it on my wool mat. So anyway, he is going to go on a small piece of mat board. It is, I think, three by five. And then I like to put a piece of warm and natural down. And then the stitched piece will be stretched over this. And then I cut um, a piece four by six. Uh, that is, and two pieces of backing fabric. It's just to kind of help the ornament be a little bit bigger and to and and he'll really pop off this dark green. So the uh, front and the back mat board will be covered with this print fabric. And then I'll stack him on top. And then I have, of course, I'm gonna be using my tape gun. And that's what I use. I use the X-Acto knife for cutting and, and a very large ruler. This is one of my quilting rulers. I like this one because it's really thick, so it, it it's easy to keep your line straight when you're cutting with your with your um, exacto knife. And then I have t uh, several trims that we're going to be auditioning. Marlene will help me with that because she's got that good eye. Um, so we have several trims to audition for what we want as far as like the little uh, topper to go around both the stitched piece and um, the outside piece. And we'll attach that using the um, Aileen's tacky glue. So those are the supplies that you need when you're doing your ornament. And so what I'm gonna start with is by putting just a tiny X here on this mat board piece that Alfred, I mean, not Alfred, Timothy, Captain Timothy is going to get um, stretched on. So I did that, press it down. I always make mine just a little bit big just to make sure, cause I'd rather trim a tiny bit. So I'm gonna trim it so that it's even with the edges of the mat board. And then what I will do is run a line of tape around all four sides. So this is the side with the warm and natural. The fabric will get placed there. The tape gets put on the back of that board. So now let me move these things out of the way so you all can see a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is just run the tape down each side. When you use the tape gun, you when you press in on the trigger, okay, that's when the tape rolls. And then when you get to the stopping point, here I'm at the edge of the mat board, you let up on the trigger and pull off. Um, so it works very nicely. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do, and you'll notice I have not trimmed this. I will trim after I stretch it around. Um, because I, I want to get it, I should have about a fourth of an inch on all sides. So what I'm going to do, I've got about a fourth of an inch there where the little candy cane is. And now, oh, hello, little honey. I'm going to stretch him a little. And I can already tell, I think, yeah, that's about a fourth of an inch. And I'm gonna wanna make sure that I have him straight because see his little shoes are very straight across the bottom and I don't want him to look like he's lopsided. So while I mess, we'll mess with this and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I've got the, the um, little Timothy stretched on there. Um, I left one corner just so I could show you. So remember I said I've had a lot of extra. And when I do my corners, I can you mm -hmm. can you see that? Mm -hmm. I angle my scissor 
down. So I start higher at the corner and then angle down towards the mat board. And now I'm gonna just do one extra little trim. I already trimmed the other corners. So now all of my corners have this little like tent here on each corner. So what I'm gonna do now is flatten each corner and then you can either put glue or do just a little line of tape. And I do the little line of tape. So I'm gonna take my tape gun and just run um, one line of tape to hold that corner down. And then sometimes I have to, you know, give it a little extra or add a little bit of glue just to make sure there aren't any corners poking out. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do that on all four corners and then I'll show you how I prepare the back um, that we're gonna mount Timothy on. So he's all stretched onto the mat board now. This is what the back looks like. You see the tape running on each corner. And I will add a little bit more tape um, once I get ready to mount it. But for now, he's done. And so I'm gonna so set him off to the side. And now I like to use the thicker foam core as the base under my stitched piece. So I'm gonna turn the fabric over and on the wrong side, I'm gonna go, and I did pretty much trim this close to the size that I needed. Again, I'm gonna run a line of tape on all four sides of this foam core piece. And then I will be stretching the fabric and um, tenting the corners just like I did on the stitched piece. So I'm actually gonna get both pieces. Then this is the mat board. And so the mat board is going to also get a line of tape on all four sides. And we are gonna have to make a decision as far as what we want to use as the hanger for this one because it will get sandwiched in the middle. So we'll talk about that in a minute once I've got these covered before we sandwich them. All right. So I've got both pieces here with uh, the, the corners are all, you know, tacked down and everything. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and Marlene and I have decided that we're gonna use this thin red ribbon. It's actually 1 16th red ribbon. Um, and we're gonna use that for the loop on the top of the ornament. And so I want it to be about that long. So I'm gonna trim it. And then I'm going to put a little row of tape across the top. This is the mat board. So this is going to be the back of the ornament. And then what I do is I take my loop, I cross the ends like this. See how the ends of the ribbon are crossed mm -hmm. like that? My thumb is holding it and I'm going to put that down right here on that sticky tape. Notice how I did that. This is just by eye. Um, this is the middle and I just kind of plopped it down there um, so that it's in the middle of the ornament. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a line of sticky tape on all four edges again. Oh, so you put the front, the, the two pieces together before you mount the stitched piece. I the do. Oh. I okay. like to do that. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to do an X because we want to make sure that this is really secure. And so now when I do this, I carefully line up my corners and I check that my corners are lined up because you don't want to end up with something and it's not smashed together straight. So now all of my corners are I matching. Seem, I seem to remember that happened to me. Yeah, I'm sure it did. And then now you press firmly. So now that is the back and here's the little hanger and oh, it is sandwiched cute. in the middle. So the next thing now, I'm gonna take my stitched piece and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I am going to run tape on all 
four sides. I do kind of put my finger on the corners because sometimes like this one, see, look, it pulled, it pulled up. up. Mm -hmm. And and it will do that sometimes. So I kind of try to hold on to it. So it just needed and do to be put pushed more down. Across the just a little time. bit. And I try to keep it just here. Because there is extra tape on the corners already. Uh -huh. So now, now with this one, I am going to be a little more exact. So I'm going to put my ruler down here. Well, actually, I'll just use the board. So it's four inches across, and I want about a quarter of an inch on all four sides. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to press firmly. And now the orange, that is done, but now we have to add our frilly stuff. That looks cute. So now we have to decide what we want. I like to put a trim around the inside because see, I don't like it when you can, can see, see that this gap. gap. Mm -hmm. And so your twisted cord or a little um, trim is what will finish that off. And so, Really, the only option that we have, unless we decide to do a twisted cord, would be, because this is thin, mm -hmm. would be to do the red and white. And I'm not sure if we're going to like this, but let's try it. Oh, it is a little thicker than I thought. So it's a little bit like a candy cane. Now, is that too busy? I can't really tell through the camera. Oh, I think it looks cute. I think it would be really uh -huh. cute. Uh -huh. I think so And too. then since we're doing this around the inside, then I think what we'll do is the plain gold around the outside. Oh, and not the red? Or, well, yes, we could do this red. I like this red mm -hmm. velvety. Mm -hmm. And then that would be cute. do the red Let around the side. Do you want Let that? See. Let me see. Well, this is mine. I don't know why I'm asking you. Let me see. Let me see the front. Yeah, I think that's the red. cute. Uh -huh. I like the or red. Or this could be, or the gold. Let me see the gold. Mm, no. no. The red? I like the red. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So now, when I do this... This part, I use the Eileen's Tacky Glue, and what I'm going to do is put a glob out here, and then I use a toothpick. I never start at the top. I usually start on the side down towards the bottom because you're gonna to have to overlap the ends. And you use a tiny, tiny bit of glue. The Eileen's Tacky Glue does dry clear, but it dries shiny. So you wanna be careful that you are not gonna have a big glob of shiny glue showing on your ornament when it's finished. So I put it very close to the edge this is why Marlene does not get to glue because she uses globs of glue. <laughs> and so several years ago, she was banned from the glue. <laughs> because it was a disaster. I was hurrying. So now, I stitch. This, there's lots and lots of options. Of course, as you know, you've seen lots of different people finish lots of different ways. This is a finishing option that I really like. Um, there's, you don't have to have a large enough piece to have, like this Captain Timothy was pretty big 
as it was. Um, and I did them on 32 count. So I didn't do them on a really big count of fabric, but um, he was just a larger design. And so, you know, he really could have been um, a little ornament without the extra backing, mm -hmm. but I just like the way that looks. Mm -hmm. I am going to, because this ribbon, do you see how it's fraying? Uh -huh. So I'm going to take and I'm going to run a little bit of glue. Um, Marlene, do you have another pair of scissors? Yeah. Um, I'm going to use Marlene's scissors and cut through the glue right here because you've seen I've run the glue. And so now what I'm going to do is, and let me turn so that you all can see. So this little ribbon is gonna get set right along the edge here. So you're gonna go all the way around. And I put glue on all the way around because the Eileen's glue gets a little tacky. And so it actually sticks a little bit better after it's sat. So I will usually, unless it's really large, I will go all the way around my ornament. Or your piece that you're doing. Yes, my okay. piece. So should I? So then we'll, when we come back, I'll show you how I do the outside trim. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you can see that the little candy cane trim is all the way around the side. I do try to squish my corners a little bit to make sure that they don't get too rounded. Um, and so now what I'm gonna do is um, spread glue on the side here and I usually just get some on my toothpick and then I just run my toothpick along the side because I, the ribbon that I'm using is wider. So it's actually gonna cover this whole side. If I was using a twisted cord, then I'd be putting glue just right in the seam where the two pieces of um, map board were meeting. But since we're using a wider ribbon and I just, hold my little hanger off to the side so that I can run the glue and the ribbon right over the top of it. And for this ribbon, I'm only gonna go just a part way down that one side, across the top, and then just a little ways on this side. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and put my ribbon down. So, And then this is what I meant about the corners. I pinch my corners to make sure that I've got a nice corner and that they're not getting rounded. I don't like it when they look like they're like they're rounded, like you. I, li I like them to be crisp corners. Okay, and so here again now. I'm gonna really press them right here so that I get that nice corner. Okay, so there's across the top and down the side. I've got a little bit of extra glue there. So I'm gonna take a clean toothpick and just scrape that off so that when it dries, there isn't a little blob of shiny glue there. All right, now I'm gonna continue putting glue down the sides and we'll come back and show attaching a little bow just to frill up the top. All right, so I've got the um, little velvety ribbon all the way around. I actually nice. had short pieces of ribbon, so it ended here, but the edge was nice, so you hardly can even tell. And then this is where I started. Mm -hmm. And so that's the end. And then I added, just with the same ribbon that I did the hanger, I added a bow. And so I've already tied that around the hanger. And then what I like to do is just add a dot of glue down here at the base, right down here, and then slide the bow down that little hanger and let it sit there. I just hold it for a minute 
so that it gets glued down onto the top of the ornament. If you're using a, like this little velvety ribbon, sometimes it doesn't want to stick. And so just a stick pin down into um, that while the glue dries will work perfectly. And then I'll trim these tails because they're a little long. And that is the ornament. So I actually think I want my tails like about here. Oh, very and cute. That's my very cute. Captain Let me do Timothy. It. Let me do a close up. Very cute. It looks like a little package. Very cute. So he's going to go home and get hung up. So that was my fully finish for this week. I just, as you saw, I got him finished tonight up here at Marlene's. And then I had one other finish, but it was Marlene's. Yes, I got my tall Santa school all stitched. She got it all stitched, and, and I then finished I it today. I it off to Carlene, and she finished him for me. Isn't he so cute? The original Santa did not have this round base, and so you kind of have to balance him. He didn't, oh. He didn't always like to stand up with his just his little boots. Mm -hmm. And then Nancy added that base. So mm -hmm. he just stands up yeah. really cute now. So yeah. he's going to look he's really like, cute. Just nestled yeah. somewhere on yes. your, your one of your shelves, one of my Marlene. Shelves somewhere. So, okay. so those were our sentence. fully finishes. Yeah, don't set them on that. You're setting them on cardboard. Okay, there we go. You had some packaging, something yeah. with packaging. Yes. Um, so uh, next, we're going to talk about our stitching progress. Yes. So Marlene, what have you worked on this week? Well, I'm going to move these cookies yes. out of the yes. middle yes. of the way. We're mm -hmm. going to enjoy cookies and a glass of wine um, when mm -hmm. we get done here. Yes. Um, well, I finished up. I had um, just to finish um, Georgia and um, Ohio State. Clemson. Clemson for um, the the oh. um, championship week. Okay, so I got those finished up on Saturday. So Georgia is paired with Autumn Hydrangea Fog. So I worked on that. I don't this think. is the Chatelaine. Mm -hmm. And so I got... Oh, did you get these? Yes, I got that, that put done. in and that little leaf on the other side right here. Okay. <clears throat> Very pretty. So, Just a hundred stitches. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, I can hardly wait to work on mine. It's so fun. I really like working on that one. Mm -hmm. Very it's pretty. Fun. I worked on, well, I caught up and I showed my autumn hydrangea fog. And then I started with projects that I had only a few stitches to do. Um, and so I'm actually going to save this one till the end. So one of the ones that I worked on was Clemson also. I didn't have many stitches. This is, um, I paired Clemson with Tempting Tees. So I'm working, I did um, 400 stitches, I think. Oh, wow. On Tempting Tees. So I am finally getting stuff filled in. Oh, that looks good. Um, I need to work so, a little bit more on this blue teapot. Yeah, the teapot, yeah. Um, and then I'm putting words in down here. And do the so. words go pretty fast? Yes, they go fast. And are you doing that over one? Over one. Okay. With one strand of dinky dye floss. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. It was dinky eyes. I thought that's what it was. Yes. Oh, very pretty. Yes, you're coming along very well. Yes. Well, I'm on, I think I'm on page two. Okay. Right. Then I worked on my other one, Clemson, for the championship week. Which is the Changing, Changing Seasons, Seasons by Fox Seasons. and Rabbit. Uh -huh. I did look on the site and everybody seems to think there's going to be another oh, one. Okay. Um, but nothing's been so said yet about fabric or anything. Filling in the 
spring flower spring box. flowers. But it's looking really pretty. I really it like is the way it really looks. Really pretty. Very so, pretty. Anyway, so yes, so I'm this is on one I have to work on yet. I worked on this one was paired with Arkansas. Uh, Moonlight Garden by Drawn Thread. Oh, I'm excited to see how much you have done on that one. And, well, it's not very exciting. I just worked on the border. Oh. Oh. But I got oh, the border the done all the, the way across flowers. the top mm -hmm. and down the sides. Yeah, these were put in before. Oh, yeah. oh. Yes, I worked on this. The border oh. across the top and oh, down okay. the sides. So that is what I'm working on. Well, that's good. Yes, I think I had to do 400 stitches on that one. That's, that's really um, pretty fabric. Mm. Yes. Okay, then I worked on um, Nativity Berry. Mm. This is, this oh. one, that's okay. This one we're doing, we changed the fabric because we didn't really want it on blue. We wanted it to be cream like yeah. everything else, but now we're yeah. running into a little yes. bit of an issue with so. what colors to use for the angels. So anyway, so um, I got oh, Mary God. and it's Joseph crooked. put in, and then I ran into problems. So with I the angels and yeah. the swirls. The Mary and Joseph look very pretty. Mm -hmm. And now we just have to decide what color to do the angels. Yeah, and the little swirls because the colors we picked aren't showing up well enough. So. Okay, then another project that I worked on was for Mizzou, and that was Life After Death. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. you've gotten a lot done on that. I I worked on. I had the yellow and the white flower done, so I added the other yellow flower here. Oh, uh -huh. And then I worked on the back stitching. I put the back stitching in up here. Here, this back stitching. Oh, okay. Here. And um, I put some blue stitches in here. Oh my gosh, that is, that is looking really pretty. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be okay. It's really hard, and I decided that I'm going to just continue now, on with my madness. Are you doing it over madness. one or two? No, over two. Okay. I'm just going to continue on with my madness because we're going to do a DMC challenge again this year. Okay. And I'm just going to keep doing different colors of DMC. <laughs> well, this project is so ginormous. And um, it is really big. Mm -hmm. And so let me, sh I'll show it. No, I didn't show the picture. So I've, I've only worked on this top little corner right in here. I have the whales started and I've got a little bit done here. But I mean, I have this, I have all of this. And so, I mean, I can yeah. repeat colors. Oh, and yeah. then those colors mm -hmm. that I like, I'll just use them more often. Yeah. So anyway, that's, I decided I'm gonna do that. Well, that's good. Okay, then I had another finish. I finished Hedgehog Blessings. This, that was a Faithworks design. And it goes Isn't on that- Isn't that little hedgehog yes. so cute? It goes on that little box. It, and it's already, is the box already painted? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I have a banding. Thankful, blessed, grateful. grateful. So, so cute. I got that all done. And that'll be a quick, that does yeah. have a little bit of, so the box is already painted. So all I'll do is glue the banding around the base of the box and then make a little petite twisted cord for the top and the bottom of the banding and glue that on and then glue the little, little top of hedgy on the top of the box. That's all I'll have to do. So that will go on the finishing table. Okay, then I also worked on Notre Dame, uh, Prayer of St. Francis was what I paired with it for Notre Dame, and I needed uh, 500 stitches on this one, and I had a terrible time because my stitches across the top did not end where they were supposed oh. to. 
And so I have a mistake and I found it way over here on the lettering. Mm. So all of this lettering is going to have to be ripped out. Oh, no. So, um, but I mean, it's one strand of floss. It's not hard to rip out. I'm doing it over too. So this is going to be like a little crown uh, border. It, well, that's what it looks like to me. Um, it's that very top border up there. Yeah. Uh huh. And I have to, I I have to add the points oh, on the okay. top, and then it'll it'll be like a crown. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm going. I'm using dinky dye floss for this one strand, but on the borders, like where I'm doing this yellow, this crown, I'm doing two strands, and then one strand for the lettering. And then there's a dividing border here, and I'm actually going to do that with two strands just oh. to make that divide. I think it'll make it a little easier to read mm -hmm. if we separate the lettering a little bit yeah. more specifically. Yeah, there's a lot of lettering. A lot of lettering. Mm -hmm. It's very fun to work on. I love working on it, but I was so irritated when I found that mistake. Yes, when you had your mistake. Yes. Okay, and then I'm working on Hollyberry. This one I'm doing on 40 count gauze. Um, yeah, we can use that. Just don't look over here. Yeah. So that's what I have done. I still have a couple more little motifs and then I'm gonna start filling in the background with that. Mm -hmm. I'll show enough. you mine. Okay. I, I worked on that one too. It's very fun. I like doing it. it. I have to use fun. my magnifier for it, but it's actually going very well. So, so it's fun. This is what I have oh, done. Yeah. And see, I have a couple of squares, the oh, 20 yeah. by 20 background squares. And then I filled this in. And now I'm going to do that little, like what you did, the, the little, little holly, holly leaf chain. Yeah. I'm gonna do that no, next, and, I did and not the tie other off big holly bear one. No, because it's gonna get covered oh, up anyway. Yeah, that's what so. I'm yes, that was I worked on that for Christmas. Yes, my Christmas. I work on it for an hour oh, every yours. day. And then I've been working. Well, I had to do. I only had two hundred stitches for Home Sweet Home. That's one? this one. I'm working on the beach house. Which this one, one was that paired with? It was paired with El Paso. Oh, you yeah. You and I only had 200 stitches. But this is one of the projects that I want to get done. So starting yesterday, I'm working for two hours every day. Oh, and uh -huh. so the house is done. I'm just filling in oh, yeah. the sand underneath the little docks. And then I will backstitch. So tomorrow, in my two hours of time, I believe I will get my beach house done. Oh, that's good. And then I'll be ready to start on uh, what's uh, the Tudor oh, uh -huh. is what it's called, I think. The beach bungalow. And is it? And the timeless Tudor. Oh. Okay. So then I will start on the timeless Tudor. And then this is. The, the houses that we have left. I'll have these four that I'll need to continue working on. So, um, I that, get to work on that one. I forgot to get it out. Um, I get to work on that one. This coming up. Yeah. <clears throat> so I worked on that. Okay. And then the last one I've been working on are my petite ABC Biscornews. This was a Faith Works design. Yes. And I have, um, and I have A, B, and E done, uh -huh. and I just have C and D left to do. So I have the first part of C done. Isn't that pretty? That tone on tone mm -hmm. is so pretty. And then mm -hmm. she'll have the back, back. box yeah. to do. So I'm working on that now. And then I'll so. finish those as this yes. one is. And then I have D to do, but. It's they been go going fast. Really well, yes, and even with my, um, with my little um, reading glasses, I'm being able to see it really well, and I'm not having any trouble. So okay, then I've been working well. on it's a been Christmas fun. one. Yeah. This mm -hmm. one I've worked on 
also yesterday and today. Yesterday's goal was to get all the words finished. And today my goal is to get the little stocking square done. And this, oh. I got the words done yesterday. I'm working on the stocking now. So that is gonna get done. That's fun. I've already done my two hours. This Christmas is forever by Lizzie mm -hmm. Kate mm -hmm. with the called for threads and floss. And fabric. And fabric. And then, um, so, I, I've gotten my little goals that I've set, I've done really well. The other one that I'm working on a little bit every day is Needle Chair Necessaire. So yesterday I wanted to get um, the flowers done and the alphabet letters up through F. And it actually, it's, it's stitched like this. Um, this is the top. Here, that little one of the little tufted pillows will go here. Oh, okay. And so there are all my alphabet letters. Um, and then next, I'm gonna get the rest of the oh, it's alphabet. Upside down. Yeah, that's oh, it's how it's to supposed to be oh, because oh, when you it, flips it over. folds yeah, over, yeah, yeah. so the mm -hmm. arm of the chair, so the letters yes. are upside down. So. Um, It'll be, it'll be like that. And each letter oh, is cute. done with a different stitch. So the four-sided stitch, the Smyrna cross, a rice stitch, and a stitch that I've never done before that's some kind of knot. Oh, oh. I didn't bring the directions over here. It's very fun, but you... This you, one on the E? No, it's the D. Oh, the D. You, make the, you make your diagonal but then you come up and you tie a knot around that first diagonal um, stitch of oh. your cross. And then as you come out of the knot, you go down in the corner where you, oh. so it's still a cross stitch, but there's a knot in, in the, the middle. Mm -hmm. So it's very, it, it was not hard. There were very good directions. Oh, that's good. And yes, yeah, so um, I want to finish the letters today. I don't know. I'm running out of time today. Yeah. I was supposed to get You're that doing, done. And you had to do G through N or something? Yes, gotcha. because it's only through N on this side. Yeah. Then I need to go do the border again and then work on the oh. other half of the mm -hmm. alphabet. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's what I've been working on. That's very good. You got a lot done. Yes. And so now, what's coming up? Okay, well. We are going to do a, a Christmas movie night. Yes. Um, Wednesday. And we're going to do it at my house. So Marlene is going to come up, and we've each picked out a cross-stitch project that we're going to work on while we do our, our we movie night. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to do... Um, Play, play. Our church is doing oh, yeah. a blue Christmas service, um, and it's intended to be done Zoom. So Marlene and I are going to Zoom in to uh, the blue Christmas service. Um, and it, it's I, I can't remember. I have to look on the website. I don't remember if it's 6 or 7 o'clock, but I think you it's 7 o'clock. You told me um, 7. But I want to double check yeah. because. Yeah. And um, so we're going to Zoom in and do the blue Christmas service. And then we're gonna just have appetizers and um, and some snacks and mulled wine, and we're gonna work on our on a Christmas cross stitch project. So, Marlene, what one are you gonna work on? I am going to work on the Faithworks design, her new design, Hedgie's Christmas. Oh, the snow globe one. Yes, the snow globe one. <clears throat> and I actually got a little start of it on it on Saturday when we were out at Oh, stitching. you got a lot done. Yes. So, and which made me happy because that way I won't have to try to focus while I'm doing the movie and stuff. I'll just already have a start so it'll be easy to just pick it up and keep working on it. And we are, and then I'm going to work on this one. The, the also Faithworks design, Holly Jolly Christmas Shadow Box. Um, and I do have a start on mine too. I didn't think I did but I have this much of uh, the border of one box done. Um, so that, but that's good mm -hmm. because that it's easy and well, it's, well, yeah, they're Smyrna's. Fun. I love to doing that. They're Smyrna's. Mm -hmm. So I'll just work on that border and then put in whatever's gonna go in the center of that one. Yes. 
Um, so I have that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be working on, and I did not get those out because I have, I'm, I, I still need to catch up on um, Poison Garden, Quilted Bees, Hawaii Garden, and Changing Seasons. So those four I'm going to be working on a little bit every day to get those cut up. And then continuing on Home Sweet Home, um, needle chair necessary because I want though I want those to be finishes this year. The holly berry Chris and Christmas is forever. Yes. So well, and I'm going to work on. I have one um, uh, bowl game coming up on Thursday. Oh, okay. Um, Baylor plays. So I'll be working on Home Sweet Home on Thursday during oh, the game. Oh, during the game. During yes, because we're going to stitch yes, during the game. Yes. My first so, game is not till Friday. Yeah, so Yeah, I have two games on Friday. Oh, wow. Um, and, then, um, and then I'm also going to continue working on um, my Holly Berry. And then I'm going to also work on um, trying to get my little Lizzie Kate, a little mystery smalls done. So, um, I have the one done. I think we decided it was the... You have the, the pin pillow done. The pin pillow, yeah. I have the pin pillow done. So, I have so a, a couple others to finish up. Or a scissor fob. Yeah, scissor you have something and done and then you have two others, two others to, to do. finish. Yes. So, and then that's what I'm working on. The other thing I wanted to show you all was I this beautiful box that I got. I actually, it's a gift box. Um, it looks like a book. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. It is just beautiful. And so I am so going to put... So old-fashioned looking. It's yes. So, so this is going to so become tricky. my Christmas stitching box. Oh, that's good. So I've already put my Christmas projects in here. The, oh, that's a good idea. Yes. And so is I have... Wooden? Oh, it is. It, it's, well, I actually oh, think it's, it's like cardboard, but it's, it's, it's of, yes, but it's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy duty. I mean, it, it's not like I'm going to, it's oh, not like so a pretty. gift box that's, right. that's thin cardboard. Right. Um, so anyway, I had just never seen one like this, uh -oh. and my secretary gave it to me oh, how um, with a gift inside, and I actually would have been happy if she would have just given me this box. I know, huh? I told her, oh my gosh, it's going to be for my Christmas cross stitch. It's so beautiful. That's really pretty. So mm -hmm. anyway, I had to show that because... That would be fun to have that to put in. Yes, and it stitching. opens, and, and so well, this is my bag where I have all my berries. Uh -huh. Um. But then, but then I have my my projects coming up. Yeah, the the that's um, nice. twelve days of Christmas projects, and then my Whitman sampler smalls. So they all really fit nice in here. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, they're just gonna all get put in here that's so nice. that I can. And plus, then it looks pretty sitting out. Oh yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like a big mm -hmm. mess. No. And so that's yeah, really pretty. So it's. Really, I want one. Oh, I know. I have to look for one for you. <laughs> so, that okay. is what we have going on at our yes. houses. Um, I did finish school on Friday, my last day. Yay! Um, I know. I'm so happy, and I'm I still tutoring. I cleaned house this morning. No. Um, I felt like my house had not been cleaned since. Well, I don't think I have really like done a good thorough cleaning since before Thanksgiving, before Linda yeah. came. And, um, and so it was dusty and, and so anyway, I got that done today, this morning, That's and good. then I went back and I did some finishing and, uh -huh. and so That's it was good. like, and then I got to come out and just sit down and cross stitch yeah. and, and I, and I mixed up, we make a homemade summer sausage. Oh, um, you got that mixed up? I got it mixed up. Ooh, so yay. it's refrigerating yeah. so I can bake that tomorrow okay. afternoon. Yeah. So I messed in the kitchen. I got to work in the finishing room. I got to cross stitch. I got to do all my favorite things. Except for the cleaning Except part. cleaning. But you know what? <laughs> it feels so good to have it done that yeah, it's like I don't right. even care. Plus, we got laundry done. <coughs> oh, I left good. Charlie in charge of that. Oh, I was like, good. you are in charge of the clothes. That's because good. I was busy running mm -hmm. around, you know, mopping and vacuuming right. and whatever. And he did help me with the little electric sweeper. No, and he'd no. sweep all the floors mm -hmm. ahead of time. So that was good. But anyway, so I think we've rambled on yes. long enough. Yes. 
Um, yes, I, I was just saying I'm still tutoring. Yes, a couple more days. Yeah, I'm going to do a couple more days. Well, tomorrow and then nothing on Wednesday and then a couple on Thursday. And then so, that'll be good. Yeah, and then I then might a little do time some off next in week. between next week. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. For sure, I'm doing Miranda on Tuesday. All right. So, so you guys, um, we will see you on Friday with just a really short little Christmas message. I'm going to say we are going to do a giveaway so make sure you tune in for that. And um, remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine. And, and keep, keep on, on stitching. stitching. We'll see you Friday. <laughs>